All right, everybody, here's the saw wrench again with another Tech 2 programming video. What we're going to do this time is we have one key. That's it. But we have found two remotes and two additional cut keys. Okay? So these guitar keys are good to reprogram to other saws. Unlike the plastic modular key that's, you can only program that to one car. So, we can have a max of three keys, from what I understand. And what I'm going to show you is a quick, easy way to program these. And something I'm going to do is cut the key part off flush and turn this into just a remote so like a little fob all right so that's what we're gonna do all right so let's get into it first thing i have the back off the key so i can pop the modules in and out that's gonna be our trick so let's get into it all right i need to put the light on to see the tech two okay here we go so, enter, diagnostics, we're going to just go up to 01, 95, we're going to go down to, we're going to go up to body, and let's see, that's going to be in twice, so we'll go down to twice, okay. Stand this communication. I guess we should probably turn the damn car on. Always have the car turned on. You should always use the additional power, not just the OBD2 connector. Okay, so we are going to go to, I believe it's programming. We're gonna learn transponders and remotes. Are we ready? Let's do it. Okay, before you start learning, you must have all the keys and remotes of the car available. We do not want to exit. Okay, all right. Already learned key into the ignition lock and turn the key to position on, which it is. Press okay to start learning remotes. Okay, here we go. Important to know All right, our fastened seatbelt lamp doesn't work. So, hmm. All right, so, remove the key from the ignition lock and enter the next key. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the same thing over and over again. All right, so we've got to press the unlock button, which is the second button over. This one. All right, we can't see the fasten seat belt lamp. It doesn't work. I mean, it kind of works, but it doesn't really work. All right, so let's say, okay. All right, well, there's no flashing, but we're just going to start hitting... Uh oh the button fell out. I'm going to start hitting it. Hmm. All right. The remote thing is falling out. So we're just going to take it all the way out. All right. There we go. So we're just going to lay that next to the key. Just like that. Make sure we're going to hold it right next to it like that. All right. So, sorry, this is one handed here. So, are we sure that they've all been programmed? No. Oops, sorry about that. I've only got two hands. Okay. Nope. All right. 
I'm gonna see if I can fake out the fade of the seatbelt lamp. I've gotta put the seatbelt partly in. Okay, hold on. Let me just put it here. Trying to get the lock, the key, the, the seatbelt thing to stay in enough. Jimmy it around the seatbelt. That's nah, not staying. All right. That's not going to work. No. gonna just go for it and see what happens so we'll hold it next to it just start pressing the button okay so we'll just take the key out now put that remote down pick up another one put that there let's see what happens put the key there turn it to on Start pushing the unlock button next to it. Okay, let's take that out. Put the key back in, grab the third remote right here. Unlock. Turn the key to on. Start pushing the button. Still have the seatbelt kind of jimmied. Alright. We'll say okay and yes. And now we will put the tech 2 down. And take the key out of the car. Pick up all three of the remotes. And this one is the original, so we'll keep it separate. Let's see what happens. So, nice. That's the original, of course. Let's try the second one. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. I gorilla fisted it. I broke it. That's super. Okay, well, let's try the third one. Okay, don't break it. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Well, I suppose I've got to solve the seatbelt issue before we can really do this. <laughs> 